Okay, I'm going to demonstrate resetting the IP DAC card back to its default. First thing I'm going to do is take this little jumper and short the two leads together. Now when I apply power, these lights here are going to go around once, they're going to go around twice, and at, right after they go around twice, I'm going to pull this jumper and they're going to go around one more time, and then it'll be set to default. Here we go. One, two, pull the jumper, and there's the third time. Now it's reset to default. You can just put this little jumper on one of the pins to keep it there. I'm going to be going over how to program the IPDAC card. First of all, you need a 24 volt or 12 volt DC power supply. This card will take either voltage and you don't have to set any jumpers for it. The first lead is the hot lead, the second lead is the ground lead. I'm going to go ahead and tighten those down by turning clockwise with the standard screwdriver. Just like that, they're nice and tight. Also what I'm going to do is connect this to the network using a standard Ethernet cable. This is the network port. Just plug that in. And now I'm going to go ahead and energize the card. There it goes. Now I can see activity lights going on. At default, this is set to DHCP, so it will automatically get an address. Now we're going to go to the computer. Okay, now that my card is powered up and connected to the network, I'm going to go find it using the IPDAC configurator. The software is available on firelight.com's website. Once I launch this, I'm going to click on IPDAC browser, which will actually start scanning my local network for the MAC address of an IPDAC. And it found it, and this is the IP address, 131.151.24.237. I'm going to use that a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and connect now. And here, I'm going to fill out these forms with this information. First of all, the account number for the alarm and the main visor alarm IP address. There is no backup because these are load sharing under this address. 80 is fine. And what we do now is click on configure configuration was successful, it's going to restart the IP DAC and it's going to connect again after it restarts. Um, we're not going to register at this time. So, so far so good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the IP address of the card. We're going to do that by unclicking the DHCP client checkbox and replacing these addresses with the ones to the right. So the first thing will be so that's the address of the card and the IP DAC um, subnet mask is 255, 255, 255. 128, so we'll go ahead and just change this to a 128, and the IPDAC gateway is 1024-23-126. We'll go here, add that in. 
Now, once this is done and I configure this, this card will not be on my network anymore, but it will be ready to go. So I'll click configure. Configuration was successful. It's restarting the IP DAC. And at this point, it's not going to be able to connect. But you can rest assured that your card is now configured and ready to go and be installed at the location.